Fuck me. Whoa. And then it fell over. Now. What the hell? To sort this out. That's. Fuck me. Yeah. Yeah, this is what happens. You're trying to fucking clip your fucking device onto something it's not designed to work with. Ah, oh. oh, fuck's sake. Just go on now and again. Oh, fuck. Nah. I'm going to have to get some bigger clips, I think. I don't want to crack the glass. Right. Turn that that way. There we go. Now try and get that just in there a little bit. There we go. Now. <coughs> hey, good evening, folks, and yeah, welcome. I look like an idiot with these glasses on, don't I? Anyway, never mind that. What we're going to do tonight, uh, I might not have much time for the chat, but I'll do my best. Uh, what we're going to do tonight, we're going to build, we're going to build a miniature amplifier, a miniature power amp, based on the TDA 2030 uh, uh, output chip and at some point you generally find that they give you somewhere to open these but unfortunately uh, they haven't done so I'm just going to bring my mate Stanley in uh, make sure everything's out of the way everything is there we go. Right, change the camera. Turn round. There we go. I might not have much to chance to look at the chat, but I'll do my best. And I'll try and keep things in shot where I can. I'm going to find a different angle for the camera. I'm going to try and have the camera on the bench here with me. That radio cassette, don't worry about that. That doesn't concern you folks at this point in time. There is a video going up about this later. It's just being processed as we speak. Uh, that was bought in because somebody requested, a nice lady requested a small portable radio cassette. So, me being the obliging kind of guy that I am, uh, I went out of my way and I purchased and the camera must be on this side yes it is right this I don't know what this angle is going to be like uh, we've got two likes um, I will say good evening to everybody uh, that joins, I won't be able to, I'm not sure if I'll be able to check, well actually what I'll do, uh, I'll come on to the, ow, hang on a minute folks, I've just moved in my chair and hurt me bollocks, well I'll do, I'll actually come on to the main screen and we'll see what we can do, uh, regarding, um, there we are, you see. Building a miniature, yes, we want that. Uh, oh, six people watching so far. Right. Uh, yes, uh, a nice lady asked me to uh, pick up a radio cassette for her. 
she bought a record player off me last week and she asked me to pick up a radio cassette for her so that has been taken care of <coughs> and that's the soldering iron lead there's nothing I can do about that um, now uh, we'll talk about a few things while we do this uh, you know we can uh, oh it can be a green capacitor this time we a green one a 220 UF at 16 volts uh, not 220 2, uh, 2,000 2, 2,200 at 20 volts right so what I'm going to do I'm going to I'll tell you what they haven't given me. I've just noticed. Has anyone else noticed what they haven't given me? But luckily enough. They haven't given me. They haven't given me the fucking sheet for the circuit and the fucking build. Right, what I generally do with these first. Right. What I generally do, you have to read through the Chinglish and the Chinese. So R1234, R1234 are all 100k so these ones here I'm trying to get into a position because I've got a load of records in front of me and the reason for that is I'm actually selling a load of my records I've got some really choice records as well but I'm selling them because uh, we'll just check what value this resistor is, make sure that we're, make sure that these are the 100, the 100k ones. And we'll put them in, oops. Move that radio cassette lead out of the way. Yeah, yeah, a nice lady asked me to get her, uh, she had a record player off me, she asked me to, could I get her a little radio cassette so I did. And I've refurbished that, but that's that's not for now. Right, these are the what is it they're putting up? What is it they're making these leads out of? They're fucking magnetic. Stick to your test leads and everything. Right, so basically what we'll do is just bend these leads over. And what we'll do now. Stick them in. It tells you on the board anyway what they, what what you need to be doing. Stick them in. Get them in. Stick them in. Stick them in. Just shove them in there. And what we'll do, we'll put all the resistors in first. Uh, I hope you're all enjoying... Uh, I hope you're all enjoying the bank holiday. I certainly am. I'm doing my spring cleaning on Monday. You know, which is where I clean all my springs. Would help if I bent this right, wouldn't it? You know, and... Yeah. I'm doing my spring cleaning on Monday. In which case I clean all my springs. Now I'm doing my spring cleaning and I've got loads of records, I mean, loads of LPs. And to be perfectly honest, you know, that's not right. It is. Yeah. 
That's right, 100k. Hundred K, hundred K. So it's yeah, because they're hard to read these because yeah, yeah. What they've done, they've actually drilled the holes. What they've done, they've drilled the holes closer together. That's why they don't fucking see to fit flush. Drill the holes closer together, probably make the board fucking smaller. But that's. That's. Uh, that's definitely because that's a capacitor there. Yeah, that's a capacitor there. 104 uh, the resistor goes there but the problem is is they've not really made the they've not really done the distances on them they're a bit you know the fucking close together to be fucking honest so next one yes so it's easier to see them on well fucking debatable really so Right. Yeah, the next one is Yeah, the next one is that one. Hundred K because one, two, three, four are a hundred K. Uh, and this one, yeah, we've got a caught in there. See, the problem we have, they're fucking so small, so small and so fiddly to get through. And that pulls through there. But that didn't that wasn't like that on the other one. It was easier to get through on the last one than the one of these I built. I built a few of these little boards up over the years. Right, and we're next one. Right, so R4. Or okay, it's that in it. I'm pretty sure that's it there. But before I solder it, I can actually compare, I think, because. In all good tradition, I should have one I've already fucking built. Can't see it. I mean, the problem is the things are that fucking small, you can't fucking see the fucking things. The amps are that fucking small, you put them on your desk and you, you ain't finding that. It's on there somewhere. Oh, I'll put it back in the little baggie it was in. 
Yeah, I put it back in the little baggie it was in. Where did I put the little baggie? Yeah. That ain't it. That ain't it. It's here somewhere. Yeah, I put it back in the little baggie it was in. It come in a little bag and I put it back in it. But really, it should be somewhere near this. Because it's being used in conjunction, conjunction with this. So, it should be somewhere near this, but it's not. So, uh, Brilliant, where the fuck do I do? Is that it? Yeah. Got it. So I'm going to take this one out and just have a quick look. Because some of the fucking, you know, it's this is a different size. I'm sure the resistors on this are fit better than what they do on that one. No, they're the same. I just want to check. Easier to check this. See, this one's already been turned on and powered up. It works beautifully. So 100k, 100k, 100k. I was right, 100k goes there. It goes there. I was right. But you can mount the resistors. You know. You know, you can mount them a bit. There we go. Right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to solder them ones in. And I can't use the helping hands because the camera's on it. Uh, where's my solder? Where's my fucking solder? I've got a piece here, but I'm going to need them sight more than that. You reckon I could get away with it? It's there, actually. You reckon I could get away with it? Fucking building up with that much solder, I don't fucking think so. Right. Don't forget to always clean your tip. Right. Trying to gonna keep you all in shot here while we do this. If you haven't watched me before, you might enjoy it. If you have watched me before, you might have been fucking hell, not him again. We've done them all, I think we might have one left. Yep. There we go. Right, doing my best not to knock everything ever all over the place. I wonder if you could actually see any that I was fucking doing. Uh, right, Let's get the clippers. There we go. They're not on. Where are they? Yeah. Just clip the legs off, clean the board up. Yeah. Just clean all this crap off. Yeah. I'm waiting for Jay's latest video. He's uh, currently working on a a hack of black night. Uh, 
I won't tell you whether he's fixed it or not. There's no point watching the video, is there? Like I tell you what's happened. So, I think I do tell you in the next video, actually. So let's hope he gets it up before I get that one up. We've got one on. Got one on. Got on the go at the moment. Just, there we are. And that's nice, that. That's how I like them. I like that a bit shorter, I could get it, but I don't think you can. Anyway, next. We want our one ohm. That's 4.6k. And I think that's 4.6k as well. No, it's not. That might be our one ohm. It is, it's, it is, it's our one ohm. See, I've got black stuff all over the place, and I don't know what it's come off. Come off something. Right, right, so, one ohm, see the one ohm, but even the one ohm space decently apart, just those other fuckers, I mean look at that, that's got me no problem, now this one, which is the 4.7k, I mean, oh shit, where have you gone? I heard it drop on that board, there we go. Alright, basically, they're actually good amplifiers, these. I mean, they, they're good. Good for the job that they do. I mean, you can rate them. You know, you can put better parts on them. And, you know, make them take a bit more stick. It even tells you that in instructions. That's when you get instructions with them. That is, if you can read them. But it tells you on the pay on the page where to buy them on the eBay page. It tells you there that you can. That you can change them, change the parts. Now, to make them a bit more heavy duty, you know, for your own purposes, like. This sold of the flux, oh shit. The flux from, oh shit. The flux runs out of this solder very quickly. And it doesn't take long before it starts to go funny, but. If you quit with your iron, like I am. Yeah, this is all. Uh, this is now what we'll do. We'll put our. What we'll do now, we'll put our, our terminals in. Put our connectors in. These two connectors have come up broken, this one. Has, Normally you have to cut them up yourself. Well, we've got the fucking right amount, it's another matter. You can get the instructions. Oh, 
Well, there's any point in getting the instructions in Chinese. You can work them out. So we need that there, that's... And this one is... Output, where's power supply? And that one there will be power supply. And fall out. Lovely. It's handy to put these in. Although you don't really need them, but it is handy to put them in. Because... There we go. If you put them in, then, oh shit, I'll stop clapping the camera. If you put them in, then it's easier to solder the wires to, when you come to solder the wires to it. Put that there, I've got a little bridge there, that's it. Right. Put the live solder in. something you see me do all the time is it a bit on the bit on the channel a bit of live soldering is not something i tend to do all the time so put these little tantalums in uh i think the tantalums anyway if they're going in and they can go in either way they're non-polarized And then we want the other one. And it will run from, it will, this will run, these little boards will run from 12 volts all the way up to about, well, whatever voltage that might, that uh, electrolytic is you get with it. But you can get a bit more by putting a bigger capacitor in. And you need, obviously, you need a bigger heat sink. Because the more you put in, I'm just checking to make sure it's in shot. Gonna block one of my holes up. Alright. That was fucking lovely, that just fucking stood up a bit. Let's get that down. Now I'm blocking my bloody hole again. Block me. Right. That's them on. Snip them off. Right, all that's left, yes, we'll put him on last because he's the biggest, oh diode, we'll put our diode in, I think the diode is for reverse polarity protection. Yeah, 
that's right. Just double check the other one. The symbols are not that bloody clear. Yeah, I was right, I thought I was. But if you're not right, if you don't think you're right, then double check. There's nothing wrong with... Like I say, there's nothing wrong with double checking. If you're not right, if you're not sure, then check. Nobody will ever hold it against you for double checking. I double check and I triple check and everything, mate. Nobody will ever hold it against you. Always double check. If you're not sure. Because there's nothing wrong with double checking. I mean, we're all guilty of putting a capacitor in the wrong way around. And a transistor and everything else. We've all done it. And we won't be the last. I can assure you of that. Now this capacitor here is 25 volts. So, oh, sorry, 35 volts. We can put 30 when well, it's 100 UF. We can we can put so we can put and it goes here. So we can put we can put 35 volts into that. Into the amp as it is. And this one is 2.2. And he lives here. Remember on these capacitors, they are polarized. And that one actually. That one that one doesn't actually have a fucking mark on it. That one does. And the the longest is live. That one, that 2.2 though, that doesn't have a mark on it, it's not even marked. But we now know that because of the negative, we now know which one's which, which way around it goes. There's no marking on that to say whether it's positive or negative, it's just not. But it's polarised. I can assure you of that. And these two should be 22. Yep. This one's twenty this one's just twenty-two. Alright, but just think, eh? Hey? You know. Always check. There we go. <sighs> Good evening to everybody. I can't see the chat, but good evening to you all. Thank you very much. I will come over once I've built this. I will swivel over to the other chair. Or to the other bench, even. And I will... Catch up with the chat. Okay now, that doesn't want to fucking go and get in. Oh, yeah, 
Thank you. Double check everything, yeah. Right. Snip these off. There are some people who keep their leads, I do sometimes. Depends. Depends on what, what kind of a mood I'm in. Or whether I can be asked. Sometimes I just sweep them off into a bin. Other times if I've got a little tub handy, I should have one actually somewhere. Keep them because you never know when you need them. Do you jump into it? Need to jump a gap. Now, this one is our speaker decoupling capacitor. Uh, not not speaker decoupling. Sorry, my mistake. Speaker coupling. It's the speaker coupling, not decoupling. Bit of a mistake there on my part. I do always apologise and I do own up if I make a mistake. And I, no, I, don't, I dare say somebody would have jumped straight on that and corrected me. There's no need to have corrected myself. Ooh. Really, what you need, I'm just going to put it in there and do it. Because that is now there we go. All right, there we go. Uh, I can run these at nine volts, I have done. Uh, just suck that one off there because I've gone onto the pad there and I'm not happy. Might not get the component leg through that. Well, now oh, just hit the phone again. Pardon me. Yeah, somebody's put a video up. There's something up there waiting for me. I hope it's Jay. I've been itching to watch his latest. Um. Right. Okay, now. We're now putting the, the TDA2030 on. Mm. Well, slightly, we've got slightly bent legs. And that's where we're struggling. There we go. But this is actually quite a simple product to build there we are we've gone in make sure we're all the way in there we are right and this and when you've done it you examine it to make sure you've done it correctly I've caught the camera again but we don't worry. Soldering our chip. There we go, one left. Neaten them couple up a bit there. Now, let's have a look. Yeah, that's good enough. And that is it. 
That is your TDA 2030 pair of amps made up. There we go, look at that. Two pairs of amps. Uh, they're exactly the same thing. Uh, built exactly the same way. I know that will work. I don't have to. I don't feel the need. To, I don't feel the need. I don't, I need. I don't feel the need to have to test it because I know it will work. They always do. I've got a speaker anyway. Uh, uh, see when you click the I don't know whether it will let me put 5 volts into it I could do the wet finger test I don't know whether it will let me put 5 volts in which is positive DC negative negative Turn that one over a bit as well. Bend them a little bit and I can get leads on them. Yeah, that fly was loud, wasn't it? It's getting your fucking leads. Getting your fucking leads down here. Feeling it's gonna fucking short life up. Let's just turn the power supply on. Oh shit, I've got the camera over. There we go. Let's turn the power supply on. Nope. We're not shorting. Now let's get the speaker. We'll use one of these little tweeters. We used one of them earlier and it worked. Well, so what we'll do, we'll we'll just disconnect that for a second. Don't know whether it'll work. Five volts. I think they need a minimum. I think they need a need a minimum of nine. Well, a minimum of twelve. But I've had them working on nine. But we might need nine volts. And where I'm connected on the power supply, it only put only puts out nine volts. Uh, five volts. We'll go for it. Why not? I know you all want to see it working. <laughs> One on. It doesn't matter really which way I connect the speaker, but let's do it properly. Because we're only connecting the one amp. I built a pair of these into a Fidelity Radio Master, which had blown amps, and they actually, it actually worked absolutely perfectly, folks. As far as, far as I know, it's still alive and living in Buxton. I've not heard now from the fella over it, so it must be. So let's get all these. Lead wires out on the fucking speaker. Look at that lot. Look at all magnetic. Lead wires. I'm just going to do a buzz test, that's all. Just to prove that the amp actually works. Right. Oh, hang on. Uh. Hear that? Uh, yeah. Let's get 
got something to touch that with. Ready? Here we go. Well, that's not. Ooh, that doesn't sound very good, did it? You sure got nothing overheating? No? No? Might just because there's not enough power to drive it. That's what, that's what that could be. Yeah. Folks, and if I connect it to the 12 volt one, probably blow the fucking thing up. I thought we'd have used that way. There you go. That would actually probably heat up more. No, it's actually staying pretty cold. Let's see. Not dry. Oh, I won't check the current on there. Let's turn it off, it's getting warm. Yeah, it's getting warm. We don't want to burn it out, do we? Right, so now you know it works. I'm not going to burn it out just to prove it, because we know it does. So what we'll do, we'll just click them off there. <coughs> now the pur now, now the purpose of that the purpose of building these is the whole point is I'm gonna build I'm gonna use this with these. This is a preamp. I'm gonna move me there we go. This is a preamp that I'm going to use with these two power amps. I'm going to build an amp and I'm going to try and improve it. These preamps, it's, this, this preamp cost me six pounds odd, uh, about just under seven quid. And it's actually quite a good preamp. It's not bad. I've used it. I've had, actually had it running. Uh, you, I put it in a juke, a digital jukebox build, but then I took it back out. And uh, it is a hi fi amp, preamp, and uh, basically, I'm going to use these two small amps here. Uh, I'm going to use this to drive these two small amps. 
and uh, I'm going to add a selector switch and obviously volume well the volume control is built in I'm going to add a selector switch so that I can plug different things in and I'm going to add to the amp and build it up and uh, maybe even put uh, uh, maybe, maybe even go as far as uh, put VU meters and stuff in and you know make a really decent looking amp <coughs> That's the plan. Whether it comes to fruition is another matter, but that's what we've got. That's what we're thinking. Anyway, let's have a look over at the chat, see what we've got. Let's see. See if I can decipher the insults from the proper chat. Right, let's see if I can read all this shit. I have said good morning to you, uh, good, uh, good evening to everybody, so I don't see myself as, myself as being ignorant. Uh, uh, hi, Kevin. Uh, I'm alright, I'm alright, thanks, uh, Dave. Uh, getting your uh, tape deck packed up this week, so I'll uh, need you to put the postage into my account. I will send you my email uh, so that you can put it into my PayPal account and get that back to you. Uh, this week, I've not forgotten. Uh, And where are we at now? Uh, Kevin Lovett, it, is it? Uh, 60 sounds, yeah, I'll try that. Yeah, you're, you're going to try that. Uh, good evening, Benji. I uh, hope you're okay, my friend. Uh, and good evening, Bart. I uh, hope you are okay as well. Bart, there. Yeah. I've got it right. And well, we've got 14 watching, we've got one dislike, and I bet the fuck who dislikes is watching it because that's what anoraks do. Oh, it's uh, not Jay's video that's gone up, it's uh, uh, Richard from UKCB, Serv UKCB Radio Services. Uh, he's put his video up. Uh, good evening, Richard, uh, if you are about. Uh, I don't know whether you subscribe to my channel. I've never actually physically asked. But as I'm in the mood, I might as well. Do you subscribe to my channel? Or do you not? Makes no difference whether you do or don't. Yeah, and uh, yes, I... Uh, Watch your channel quite often, obviously. Uh, I like to keep abreast of things. And who else have we got? Uh, it's hard to say who we've got because we've got 14 watching, but not a lot of people have commented and popped in to say hello. Just know they're watching. So we've got three likes, one dislike. That's not bad. So... If you want to see more like that, then let me know. If you'd rather not, then let me know. You know, I will do. I will basically do as I'm told. If you want to see more, if you want to see me assemble more amplifier kits and mess about like that, let's turn these instruments off. They don't need to be on now. Uh... If you want to see me do more stuff like that, then let me know. 
if you'd like to see me do you know uh, more record decks let me know if you'd like to see me do uh uh what is there there's a few things i mean uh i've got a, i've got an album music center here i'm gonna end up breaking it up it's been up for sale for months on marketplace and nobody's bothered oh uh, i'll leave them for so long and then when when it, when, when, and then when when it gets to the point where i don't think anybody wants it i break them up Set the deck out of them, fuses, save the knobs, shit like that, and then just chuck the rest in the fucking chuck the rest in the bin. I don't even save bits off the cassette deck because there's no point in saving bits off cassette decks. Because you can buy the bits for the cassette that is relatively cheap anyway. Yay! Yeah, you know, well... You know, it depends, doesn't it? You know, we're all into different things. I mean, I'm into anything electronics. I mean, I don't mind. It's all electronics to me. I uh, I love I love the hobby for what it is. Um, you know, uh, I get a lot out of it, and you know, uh, I'm not into one specific thing. You know, I like it all, really. Uh, you know, I even like, I, I, to be honest, I even do like the vintage computer side of it. But I don't know enough about that sort of stuff to get into it and mess with it. So I leave stuff like that to people like Jay, you know, those who uh, and uh, people uh, that want to do that kind of thing. Uh, scraps is okay. Yeah, Scraps is okay. He's asleep on my bed. Probably licking his testicles. Uh, yeah, he's probably fucking lying on my bed. Well, he will be lying on my bed. He knows where the, he knows where he's best off. You know, uh, scraps knows what side of bread knows what side of knows what side of it knows what side of his bread is but knows where where his bread's buttered. Uh, he, uh, you know, he loves his com he loves his comfort. He loves his comfort. He'll, uh, you know, he'll stay there. To what he does, he'll stay there till I go to bed. Then when I get in bed. He'll jump down and he'll come in here and he'll have a forage about to see if I dropped anything when I ate me tea. Because there's one thing Scraps is not allowed to do. He's never been allowed and he never will be. Uh, he is not allowed to sit in the same room as me when I'm eating. Uh, because I don't like an animal looking at me while I'm eating my food. Just don't like it it's not nice and i got him out of the habit of doing that straight away uh first i used to send him out and then he got the idea so you know uh if i if he's in here and i come in with my plate he leaves but then he, he usually actually comes back in after when he hears me when he hears me fork it the plate and i finished you know me I just throw my fork on the plate with a clang. Uh, and it, it, what he what he'll do, he'll come in after he's after if he hears the fork, he'll know I'm finished, and he'll come in. But he hasn't heard the fork tonight because I didn't use one; I just used my fingers. 
Oh, they had fish cakes and French fries and a couple of pieces of bread. And most of it, while I was on my plate, ended up on my bread. But, uh, yeah, I've got... Uh, uh, I've got a record here by the doors, you know, and I've been looking at this. Uh, talk about these records for a minute. I bought, you know, I would never go in a shop and buy a Doors LP because I'm not into the Doors. People thought they were good, and yeah, they probably were. Uh, but this is LA Woman, and uh, according to the information, it's a first generation pressing. Uh, and it's a, it's, a, it's a British pressing because it's. Pre because it's pa packaging coal limited in England, but it's uh, according to what I've been able to find, I think I think it's a first generation, uh, which is that record there, and that's fetching good money. Even fucking, even a gen, even a pressing made last week, they're fetching good money. So you know, uh, you know, when my buyer comes, he won't be getting that because that'll be getting sold separate, and a few others will. I've been going through them, checking them out. Uh, I've got I've got signing off by UB40 as well, um, which also came with a bonus single, and I've got that complete. And uh, you know, uh, you know, and that's. Uh, that's not doing as well as I thought it might, but I thought it would have been, but, you know, uh, I'll let him look through most. Uh, I'll let him look through most of it, and, you know, uh, I'll let him look through most of it. Yeah, what, what? What, LA, LA Woman? Right. I mean, I'm not really a Doors fan, and I never have been. I'm not really, not really my music, but as I say, you know. I'll tell you what, them fucking flies are loud tonight, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, that's that muesli I had for me breakfast. Yeah, uh, does that make me fat muesli, you know? But yeah, I've got loads of stuff. I mean, there's, I mean, I mean, uh, there's lo loads of records here that I'm not gonna play. There's loads of records here that I'm not gonna play. I mean, I've got, I've got about three or four Jeff Roll Tull albums. Who the fuck was Jeff Roll Tull? I think I have heard of him somewhere, but I'm not gonna play his records because, well, I played one once and I didn't like it, so I won't play another. I've got Super Tramp. I'm not really into Super Tramp. I only like a couple of theirs. Uh, I'm not really a lover of Super. Uh, well, I don't mind Super. I might keep the Super Tramp actually. We'll see. But uh, <coughs> you know, there's uh, there's all sorts here. I mean, I'm not going to read them out because I'll be here all fucking night. But. Uh, uh, there's one of my favourites. Uh, the Best of the Eagles. Uh, what condition is this in? I mean, this is not worth fuck all, I don't think. It's not in bad condition, actually. It's, uh, uh, but I'm not parting with this one. I like it. I got it out because I was going to play it in my vertical music centre, but I never got to it, so I might play it tomorrow instead. You know, because I'm doing my spring cleaning. Starting that tomorrow. Uh, Going to clean all my springs. Yeah. Uh, I've got one here by Yes. Called Drama. Michael Jackson, Thriller. Maxi Priest. Is he worth any money, Maxi Priest? I don't know. Got a few albums by The Police. Uh, Marvin Gaye. Was he really, or was that just his name? Uh, but uh, these police albums, uh, I'm 
should have three or four of these. And there's Phil Collins. Uh, there's Local Hero by Mark Knopfler. Yeah, I've got three of these police albums. I mean, uh, I don't know what condition they're in. Because to be perfectly honest, I've never had them out of the sleeves. They've never ever been played. Not by me anyway. Let's have a shufty. Oh, wow, that's in beautiful, Nick. Let's see if I can read the... Yeah. B2. The other one should say... The other side should say A2. A1. Uh, this says a strawberry on the inner. So, yeah, this says strawberry. So, was it made at Strawberry Studios in Stockport? This uh, recording? This album? Was it, was it recorded at Strawberry Studios? Or one side of it might have been. I'll have to check that out. It should tell me on the record, actually. Should tell me on the record. Why would somebody write strawberry on the actual vinyl where they say where the catalogue number is? We've got M we've got A M L H six four eight three one and then A one. I presume A one was the stamper that was used. I'm not sure. Well, I'm trying to look for and find out. That definitely says Strawberry. Did they cut records at Strawberry Studios? Or was it recorded at Strawberry Studios? I don't know. It doesn't fucking say. I'll have to do a bit of checking up on that. Why would somebody write strawberry in the vinyl itself just before the in the just in between the uh, the run out groove and the lock groove? Why would somebody write it in there? And it's doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm just looking at the back to see. No, it was, record, it was recorded at Whistle, Whistle Lord, I think that's what it's, how it's pronounced, Studios. But somebody's wrote Studio. I'll have to do a bit of research on this one. Have a look at the other two records, well, the other three. Uh, that one's called... Uh, I can't pronounce what it's fucking called. It's that fucker. It's that one. Uh, let's have a look at this other one. And I'm presuming that these are all in mint condition, you know. That one there is, well, more or less. You look in mint condition. This one's on the earlier AMI later. Uh, a and M label, yeah. Look at that. That's actually not bad. Need to clean. Got a bit of dust on it there. There's a bit of show. That's a lump of shit, not a mark. Yeah, it is. It's come off. Uh, so we'll look at this one. See if this has got anything funny written on it. A M L H. Twenty five twenty five oh two A eleven That's got a scratch, is that a scratch or a yeah, fucking mark of some description? Yeah. It's 
coming off it's a mark yeah it's a mark some of it's come off they need a, really these need these records need a good clean because none of them have been played for fucking years and that one's b10 uh mlh amlh sorry 68502 b10 yeah i might keep these police lps as well depends on what's on them this one's got uh you know it depends what's on them really i mean I, I like to get you know i like to get the greatest it's lps if i can find them i like to get them because all the good stuff all the stuff that you really want is on them you know because i'm not really one of these I'm not, I'm not one of these guys who likes to listen to obscure music. You know, I like to listen to music that I like. You know, uh, I like, I, you know, I, I like to, I like, I like sort of like music, you know, sort of mainstream music, not obscure stuff. There we go, what's this one? Out to out something outland or I can't pronounce that fucker either. Yeah, wanted by the FBI, the police, the real police. The only two on that I know is Roxanne and Can't Stand Losing You. I can't I don't know any of the other fuckers on that. And it, it is uh Regard to the re, regard to the blank or the blank, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, and this they were all on the A and M label, weren't they? The police. Uh, let's see what we've got. Let's see what somebody's punched into the fucking. Because this is written on at the time. The record is actually cut before they even get to the stamper and it all goes and follows it all the way through. That's B11 as well. I won't read the rest of it. And the, the other side is A13. So did they use different stampers? They must have done. Because I think I, I think I think the last two I think the the letter and the I think the letter and the number at the end represent references to the stamper that was used. To stamp the record. Message in a bottle. We're walking on the moon. That's on that. That's about fucking it. Uh, you know, I do like the police, but uh, I've never played these. Here we are. Ghost in the Machine. By the police. Uh, I mean, I bought these years ago off a guy up the road, and uh, this one is in absolute superb condition. Need to clean. There's a fair amount of dust and shite on it. Right. Uh, that side two. Yeah, B five. Yeah. Every little thing she does is magic. Spirits of the material world. Uh, that's all I recognise on that. I don't fucking recognise fuck all on side two. This was done by Virgin Music. It's still on A&M Records. A&M Records though. And uh, yeah that was... Uh, there's a very, very small number there on this one, and it weren't on the rest of them. I can't fucking read it. I can't read that. And it looks like C something there. In the... In, in between the run-out groove and the lock groove. A13, it's, I won't read the, old, the entire number, but it's just A13. That one on what's the other side? B15. 
So does that relate? Does it? Can anybody answer me? Uh, does that relate to the stamper that was used to produce the record? Because we know they don't cut every fucking one by hand. They are done with a stamper, uh, but they can only do so many. You can only produce so many records with a stamper. And then they have to replace the stamper. So, you know, but each stamper has a different number, obviously. Now, let's see what's happening with the... Oops, they've got a load of records on me then. Now, let's see what's happening with the chat. If I let any Jeff Roll tool go, I'll let you know. Uh, well, I would normally, but I think the guy who's coming on Monday wants them. Because I am letting them go, because I won't play them. Uh, I'm not, not into Jeff Roll tool, but if he doesn't want them, then yeah, I'll bear you in mind. But I've already, pro I've already promised him first. Unless you offer me more. You know, but... Uh, Yeah, I know that. I know that, Kevin. But uh, you know, the, you know, the, you know, these, the, the, these are actually, these are actually done. Uh, I mean, this wasn't, this wasn't done by a DJ scrawling on it. This was done. Uh, you know, it's too neat for that, and it looks like it was done. You know, it was, it wasn't done. It was it wasn't done after the record was made. It was done during the record's production. You can tell, but I need to research that and find out. It probably means nothing, you know. Like the Beatles, the Beatles were famous for putting back to front words and stuff in their records, like uh, um, uh, Revo uh, Revolution Number no. Nine. John Lennon says, turn me on, dead man, turn me on, dead man. But he has to, you have to play it backwards to hear it. Uh, and, you know, so, you know, uh, they could have just wrote it on there. They could have just insisted it was put on there for the hell of it, couldn't they? You know, uh, thinking of his mates. He could have just said, stab strawberry on that fucker. <laughs> you know, but... Uh, I'll get to the bottom of it. Somebody somewhere knows. You know, uh, I mean, I, I used to, I, I used to be a DJ, um, and I never, I never, I never marked my records on the uh, on the vinyl. If I did, it was on the label, but I never, never, never marked them on the vinyl. Uh, you know, I'm not saying no DJs ever did. I never did. Um, I think it's fruitless that anyway because you know I can't see the point of that. I'm not saying it never happened, Kevin, but I'm, what I will say is I can't see the point because say 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 I put my name on that and somebody nicked it. The police are not pardon the pun. The police are not going to go. To everybody's house. Have you got? Have you got? Have you got ghost in the machine by the police? Oh, can I have a look at it, please? You know they're not, are they? You know they're gonna. Uh, you know, if a DJ is gonna come across his own stolen record, it's gonna be purely by accident, unless he knows the person who's stealing them. <coughs> if he has an idea of the person who's stealing them, then that's a different matter mm -hmm. than you have to just stand a chance. But uh, I think at the end of the day, uh, what was that message? Got some flag up on Facebook. What was it? Oh, it's for Carl. Uh, well, it was, but I'll watch it later. Uh, Yeah, you 
you know, but really, uh, I can't really see. You know, I just can't. I can't see a DJ going round. It is on the. It is on the in a vinyl. <coughs> I can't zoom in on it. Well, I don't know. I might be able to. Uh, it is on the inner vinyl. It's on the. It's in. It's on. It's in between the lock groove. It's in between the run out groove and the lock groove. Right. Let's see if we can see if we can get a good look. Right. Try not to scratch my bloody record. Right. So if I put that there. Can see it there. There you go. Don't know whether you can see that. It's out of focus. Was that a little black smudge? You can't see it, won't focus on it. It's just not going to have it. See if we can move the camera back a bit. It's not going to have it, I don't think. But it definitely says strawberry. But, yeah. I lost where I was at now. Where's my fucking glasses? Just curious, really. I mean... STR A W B E R R Y Strawberry Yeah I think it was put there by the engineer I don't think it was put there but it's only on one side of the record It was that that hasn't been that hasn't been scrolled in afterwards because it's exactly the the, the it's, you know, you can tell it's, but I can't fucking, I can't zoom in on it, unfortunately. I'm zooming on the fucking, hey, you can just see it there. There you are. There you go. I'll come down a bit. This is hard to do. There you go. That word there, it says strawberry. Anyway, let's put my record away before I screw it. Uh, but, you know, when all said and done, you know, it might be worth something, it might be worth fuck all. But collectively, they're all worth something. So. But, yes, uh what else have we got here of interest? Uh, we've got we've got uh, drama by yes. Anybody know anything about that one? Maxi Priest. I'm not really interested in Maxi Priest. I'm not interested in Marvin Gaye. Mark Knopfler. Mark Mark Knopfler. Knopfler. Mark Knopfler. Local hero. Uh, 1983. I don't know. That's on Vertigo Records as well. Uh, I know the record the mint, so I don't need to check it. But I'm just going to go through a few of these here. We've got we've got but seriously by Phil Collins. I know these Phil Collins ones are absolutely spanking. Don't know whether they're worth any money. Men at work. Uh, business as usual. Meatloaf. Let's have a look at that. Uh, this meatloaf, I think, is a reproduction. I think I remember buying this. I can't remember. But it's got the sleeve notes with it. It's got the inner sleeve. It's got the sleeve notes with it. Am I not? I don't know. I might have got this in a job lot. 
I'm gonna love her for uh, peel out, I'm gonna love her for both of us. More than, yeah, there's only three records on that fucking side. Dead Ringer, it says, this LP. Uh, and it's in mint condition, I know, by the look of that on there. This is on the Epic label. Um, you can't really read the serial number on the label. What's that there? Yeah, I'm going through these in case there's anything that's fucking worth anything. CBS. 8364JB doesn't say uh, C T could be doesn't say uh, that one's stroke that's the same number but stroke four dash four uh, Yeah, and this side, this one hasn't got one on. It's got a dash B. So, and it is actually the it is the B side. Uh, so what's on this side of it? I'll ki I'll kill you if you don't come back. Read them and weep. Natural not to nocturnal pleasure. Dead ringer for love. Everything is permitted. Yeah. I actually do like Meatloaf, but uh, I've got the hits out of that album, and uh, everything I want to, to want to listen to by Meatloaf is on that, so uh, I'm not really fussed about keeping these, uh, but yeah, that came in a pile of records, That this one I think did as well. What have we got on here? You took the words right out of my mouth. Heaven can wait. All revved up with nowhere to go to outfit. Oh, that's not bad. Paradise by time. Well, no, 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 no. uh, this is Bat Out of Hell. Bat Out of Hell. I don't think I've played this either. I mean, I don't get to them. I mean, it's... Yeah, I will do. Uh, Google George George Packham Engineer Pe Packham Engineer or Peckham Engineer. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that when I come off. Uh, cheers for that, Benji. I'll have a look. I'll do that in a bit, and I'll find out. <coughs> <coughs> It'd be nice to find out if these are worth anything. I mean, they're worth something. I mean, they're, they're worth something collectively, like I say. Uh, you know, they're worth something collectively, obviously. I mean, but... Uh, you know, I'd like to know if there's anything here that's worth anything. Uh, individually. I know that Doors one I read out earlier. Uh, L L L A L A whatever it was called, L A woman or whatever. Uh, yeah, M M Lightman Van Morrison. Is Van Morrison worth any money? Hmm, I do not know. Hymns, <coughs> hymns to the silence, Van Morrison. We've not got brown eyed girl on it. Was this one? That was his biggest hit, wasn't it? Brown eyed girl, I think. Certainly one of his biggest. One everybody remembers. Let's have a look. 
No. It hasn't. Yeah, but I will uh I will Google I will I will Google that in a bit. Yeah, I'm starting to get the, the workshop full of records now. The workbench. And we've got Ultravox. That's that that's uh the collection. I'll probably keep that as well. <coughs> and we've got this one in, I don't know who the hell this is. Uh two seventeen uh, I can't pronounce it somewhat, baby. Includes the fly and mysterious ways. Uh, oh, it's U2. There's notice there, you've got rings on, U2. And this has got inner sleeve notes with it as well. And God knows what this is, I've never fucking played it. But I bet it's got Sunday Bloody Sunday on. Yeah, that is absolutely spanking. That is absolutely. That doesn't even look like it's ever been played. I bet it has. CU2 AA 9 bracket. Hmm. See, it'd be nice to find something weird on one of them. There's something written on that there, I can't pronounce that, I can't read that. Looks like it was written and scratched off. So did the engineer make a mistake? Two. Did the engineer make a mistake? You find it now. Well, there it is. Once you get the magnifying glass, the microscope out, look at that. Yeah. Oh, no, it hasn't got Sunday Bloody Sunday on it. Hmm. There's a lot of numbers on this one. I'll have a lot of numbers. Don't know where it was made, but you two are Irish, aren't they? So, was this made in Ireland? Or was it made here? <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah, it was made in made in Dublin. Yeah, so it was eight forty nine at our price when it was new. I wonder how much it's worth now. Uh, wonder what it's worth now. We want to check out. I don't understand why they got why I don't understand why they're in Germany though. They're driving around in a Trabant. Yeah. Uh, who, who we got here? Uh, Vangelis. Vangelis. Yeah. I wouldn't imagine that'd be worth a fucking anything. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't fucking say what it actually. Yeah. Yeah, Vangelis, yeah. It's got a crack in the middle of it, or it looks like it. I don't know, it's just a label. Yeah. I mean, people buy them, don't they, for some fucking reason. 
Steely, Steely, Steely Dan. The very best of Steely Dan. Whoever Steely Dan happens to be. Well, I think she was a woman, weren't she? Yeah. Yeah, she was a woman. Judging by that hair and the hair fucking glasses, I'd have to say an American woman. And what's this on? MCA Records. Yeah. Not much on there to go off. There's the fucking... There's the catalogue number. And there's the number engraved at the beginning. There's another number engraved by the engineer, but I can't make it out. But yeah, I mean, I'm not really that like, good at decoding records. I'm really not. But this 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 doesn't even look as though it's ever been fucking out of its sleeve, let alone been played. I mean, reeling in the years, it's called. It's digitally remastered, so it ain't a first generation pressing. The digitally remastered one. But there again, I just spotted that. But anyone who likes that, the Moody Blues, I've got three or four of them, and I'm not even into them. And they all came from a load of stuff I bought. Yeah, and here's one, the Great Rock and Roll Swindle. The Great Rock and Roll Swindle, but the one to have is never mind the bollocks. It includes free poster, but the poster's not with it. So that probably ended up on some punk rocker's fucking bedroom wall. Let's just have a quick look at the chat. Let's see where we're up to there. Uh Yeah, well, it ain't, I'm afraid, Pete. It's on fucking black vinyl. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Here's that other, uh, here's that rock, great rock and roll swindle. Uh, the Sex Pistols. Uh... So people say this is not the one to have. Uh, the one to have is never mind the bollocks. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. God save the Queen. The great rock and roll swindle. You need hands. Silly thing. Lonely boy. Something else. There's a couple of good ones on there. Even though I don't like the Sex Pistols. Rock around the clock. Come on, everybody. Who killed Bomb? Bam. Who, who killed Bambi? Sorry. No one is innocent. Anarchy in the UK. Oh, my way. I don't know. It's got some good ones on it. Uh, but yeah, the great rock and roll swindle. Uh, that was Malcolm McLaren, wasn't it? He fucking robbed them, didn't he? Fucking cleaned up, fucking took them to cleaners, didn't he, Malcolm McLaren? Fucking Robin Bastard, I tell you what. I'm surprised he didn't fucking beat him up, you know. Uh, but there's a four there by the Moody Blues. I'm not into the Moody Blues. But as I say, I bought them years ago. And here's 10cc. 10cc, the original soundtrack. The original soundtrack to what? There's a fucking fella sat there and the original soundtrack to what? There's a fella sat there with a cowboy hat on. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't say. 
just says 10cc the original soundtrack unless they just fucking mean their original soundtrack I don't fucking know I can't work some of these fucking artists out you know some of them are fucking weird oh this is this is a this is a good one <coughs> Yeah, yeah, this has got their good stuff on it. This is probably their greatest hits. <coughs> well, it's not, it's just a record made up of, uh, like Queen did, the greatest hits, and it tells you where the records are from. Uh, this one, we've got Rubber Bullets, Donna, Silly Love, The Dean and I. Life is a minist life, 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 life is a minestrone. The Wall Street Shuffle. Side two. Art for art's sake. I'm Mandy Fly Me. Good morning, Judge. The things we do for love. Deadlock holiday. And I'm not in love. Yeah, I might keep that as well. I like 10cc. And who's this fucker here? This is, oh, this is Roxy Music. Are they worth any money, do we know? Uh, Brian Ferry and his mates, are they worth any money? If they're worth any money, got three of those. I mean, I just got them all. I bought them all off a guy. And I bought them all off him. Flesh and blood, and that's in immaculate condition. I mean, I bought them all off him, and I gave him, a, it was either a five or a crate, or a fiver for the two crates. There's something inside that one. Or is it a reflection? Well, it's not what it is, you can actually fucking see. It's, you can see through the fucking cover. So what's the fucking point of that? Being able to see through the fucking... You can see through that fucking thing on the cover. Only just... You hold it up to the light, you can see through it. The cover, that's why the cover's so fucking thin. This is uh, this is Avalon by Roxy Music. Uh, Mr. Ferry and his mates. And that's in nice nick. It needs a clean, but it's in nice nick. Uh... I'm not sure how much I like Brian Ferry and Roxy Music. I'll have to play them and find out. Might stick them on tomorrow and have a listen. Roxy Music Manifesto. Or oh, Dance Away is on there. Uh, That's the only one on there I recognise. Yeah. You have to be careful because you find some things in these fucking things. There we go. I would imagine that's in mint condition. And there's Mike Oldfield. It's not tubular bells. I have got tubular bells somewhere. But this is... I guess Ridge. Is that what it's called? Whatever it's fucking called. Oh, we've got Thin Lizzy. Thin Lizzy. Is that a double album by Thin Lizzy or is it a single album? And it's stuck together. Oh, nobody's been wanking in my record. Uh, Thin Lizzy, this is Live and Dangerous. And it's a two record set. Oh, uh, don't know what the fuck that's worth, if anything. The best record they ever made was The Boys Are Back In Town. Absolutely classic. And I don't think it's fucking on here. There's a lot of good stuff though. Uh, did a fair amount. Uh, I think I've got... I, might, I know I was going to say I forget. I've got two Thompson Twins albums here. Who likes the Thompson Twins? Yeah, don't throw eggs at me, please. 
Who likes the Thompson twins? I fucking don't. Definitely not. But somebody somewhere does. <coughs> Tina Turner live. And I'm just looking in the sleeves to see, yeah, the the, the sleeve notes are in there. That's complete. Yeah. And the record is mint and there's two records in it. And that one's mint. I can't I'm not pulling the other one out because it's the right way in. I think we'll put that the right way in as well. I might have a listen to this tomorrow. But I quite like Tina Turner. Uh I do like Tina Turner very much. Yeah. It's a two record set, there's two two records in it. So it only gives you oh there's side three there. Side four. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, I might give that a listen tomorrow. Let's see. Uh, but I'm definitely not going to listen to those Thompson twins. Well, uh, that won't be happening. Super Tramp. Uh, remember at the bottom. Let's put all these, move all these off here, so they don't slide off. Because there's other stuff under them. And there's a load more on the floor down there. Another two fucking piles. Oh shit. Hang on. Hey. So I've got all these records. Oh, I've got a can of Pepsi there. We'll get into that in a minute. My throat is dry. As a nun's crotch. You can imagine how dry that is, okay? There you get. There we go. I'm going to call it a day in a minute, folks. But oh. that's the remote control for me telly at the floor. I don't know where it's gone, but it's gone somewhere. There it is. I'll get it in a minute. I don't need it right now. Well, actually, I do. Take the thing off. Mute off. Mute. Right. All right, well, I'm going to have a, quick, have a quick look at the chat. See where we're up to. Yeah, what have we got? Yeah, I thought... Yeah, I thought it might have been from a film as well, uh, Baldy, but, you know, I don't think it was. I think it was, because I've never, I've, ne I've, ne I've never heard any t 10 CC songs in a Western. So I think it was just something made up. Uh, to be honest. Uh, Over You, Amazing, right. Uh, Roxy Music. Me, really. Thompson Twins, 80s classics. Phil Lizzy. Quite sought after, yes, I know. Uh, that's what I was thinking. So, you know, I'm going to make sure I get my money's worth out of these. That's for certain. Uh, that's why I was on to them all these years. But you see what it is. What it is, you start to, you know, the reason, the main reason I collect records is because I know there's money in records. Back in the back in the nineties and the two thousands, when nobody wanted them, I was buying them, and that's why I've got so bloody many of the damn things. And now people want them; they're charging the earth for them. And an LP that I would have got in a crate 
would now be worth what 50 quid even as an example that is so you know there might be something there that's worth 50 quid you know well that guy who's coming on uh harry who's coming on uh monday he ain't gonna tell me that he probably but probably doesn't even know that because i don't think he's a dealer as such uh but he buys a lot of records but that being said uh anything of interest i will know all about it by monday and uh they will be getting i will sell all that a lot separately uh to get them to get the most out of it to get the most i can i mean uh i could put every record i've got every lp i've got on ebay and uh just say right well i want this much for them but there's no point doing that because you don't get your money's worth out of them um let's see how my video's doing because i've got a video of that radio cassette in the background and uh it's a long video folks it's a long video uh are you still out of bed peter if you're still out of bed i'm gonna hang up on it and i'm gonna give you a quick bell are you out of bed uh just say yes or no well if you're not out of bed well if you've gone to bed then obviously you know obviously if you've gone to bed then you're uh not going to answer if you if you're up then you'll answer uh right well, i'll give you a ring in about two minutes peter i'm going to wrap it up on here now folks uh but just before i do you know I, you know i understand uh and i don't want anybody to start worrying here peter uh now, I understand the importance of my own mortality. And to be perfectly honest with you, to be honest, to, to, to be honest with you, my record collection that I've spent years collecting is no good to me if I'm not here. I won't be able to sell it. So I'm getting rid of most of it while I'm here. Good night, Benji. Uh, I'll catch you tomorrow, my friend, or next time I'm on. You have a good bank holiday, guy. Uh, enjoy it. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, you can all get pissed along with Radio Cruncher tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you all have, everybody have a nice bank holiday. But like I was saying, just before I go, I'm conscious of my own mortality. And I know one day, I know I'm not going to be here forever. I'm not planning on going anywhere just yet. Don't you anyone start worrying about that? Don't get that idea. I've no plan, no chance of no plans of going anywhere yet. But you know, like I say, bye, Steve. I didn't know you were there, Stephen. Sorry, mate. It is Steve. Yes. Yes, that's uh, sorry about that, mate. I didn't even know you were there. I forgot. I didn't spot you. Sorry. Uh, yeah, it is the radio cassette in the background, Steve. It's all done. Uh, yeah, it's all done. It's uh, it turned up today. Just after I got off the phone to you, it turned up. Yeah, you take care to uh, Bra uh, Kevin. Uh, in fact, everybody take care. But like I was just going to say, I'm conscious of my own mortality. And, you know, uh, my record collection, I'm not going to benefit from it if I'm dead. Um, so I think it's time. And we're actually at the point now where vinyl, where vinyl is fetching really good money. And I think it's time. If you ever, ever mind to cash in your vinyl chips, to do it now uh you know you know while vinyls because eventually 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 it will fall off again and then uh, i'll have to start buying everybody's records off them for nothing again but uh because vinyls had its golden age it ain't going to have another but it is growing in popularity and it will for a few years now but at the end of the day, yeah, you too, uh, you too, Bart. You have a nice evening, mate. Have a good, have a good bank holiday. 
Well, you know, like I say, <clears throat> you don't have pockets in a shroud. So, you know, uh, and I, I've been saving these, I've been saving these records. I'm only selling, I'm only selling the ones I don't want and I'm selling the mint ones that I don't want. Any that I do want, I'm keeping. Uh, there are records there I'm not selling, I'm not selling me Beatles LPs. Uh, I'm not selling the country and western. I'm not selling any of my box sets. I'm not selling. Uh, what well, I'm not selling my history of my history of rock records. I'm keeping all them. There's a lot. There's a lot that I'm not selling, but there's an awful lot that I am. And uh, whatever Harry doesn't have, then. I will list on either eBay or Marketplace. And uh see what we can uh see what we can get. Yeah, I've already yeah, uh, if you're still there for a minute, Steve, uh I spoke to the woman about this uh, radio cassette earlier. I sent her some pictures of it before I restored it and she absolutely loves it. Anyway, I've agreed, I won't say it on here, but I've agreed a price with her. Uh, I haven't gone for doubling my money because you can't do that. She bought a record player off me the other day. You know, you got to be, you know, you, you got to treat, you got to treat your customers right. So keep the customer satisfied as Simon and Garfunkel said. But, you know, you got to treat people right. So uh, I decided on a price that I thought she'd be happy with and she was, so. You know, uh, I'll just test it for a couple of days. Uh, it's had a couple of squirts of your deoxy in it. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we're all up and running. Uh, plays absolutely, I gave the head a slight adjustment. It plays absolutely beautifully. Radio all works. Uh, come up nice and clean. It's... Doesn't look like it's sat in a shed for fifty years. You know, I didn't even you know, and you know it was that it works that well. I didn't even have to change the belt. The belt was still in good nick. So wherever it was stored, it was stored well. Anyway, folks, listen, you all take care. And you all have a good evening. And uh and I'm gonna ring what's his name? Ars Printer. Ace Sprinter, is it? Uh Pete? Is it R Sprinter or is it Ace Sprinter? I don't know. Or could it be Ace Splinter? Uh, give me a load of shit when I phone him in a minute. Right, I'll catch you later, folks. Thanks for joining me, and bye for now.